destroying the opponent's army over the Baneling Mines and then getting those favorable detonations. So I'm impressed. Vibe is definitely on fire in this series. We're going to have to see if Drunken Boy can actually come back or whether this will indeed be a very short evening. So spawning up to the northwest position here of Belshia Vestige in the red trunks from Team Demos. He is Drunken Boy. Had an easy versus spin. his opponent. To Take the southeast position. Take it away, John. No problem. It's so awkward to do this on a Skype, isn't it? Because you've got no body language or anything like that. I can't, like, that. like, look over to you and just be like, it's, it's like, all you, yeah. John. Yeah, and then there's just this awkward pause where, like, <laughs> is he going to speak? Is he, is he going to? Uh, it's it's like you, you screw up your sandwich order in Subway. You go to Subway, you line up, you've got it in your head exactly what you want, and then it just all comes out wrong. And the guy's just looking at you blankly, and then you just kind of spin around, make a weird noise, and run out of the store. <laughs> maybe, that's just, maybe that's just me. Whatever the case, we have Root Vibe in the blue trunks playing Zerg to the southeast. It's currently up 1 0 in this best of three series that is on match point. You know, he can make his way through here, and he could very well find himself in Premier League in 2014. That was the greatest vibe introduction ever, ever, ever told. Absolutely, yeah. Make some kind of strange Subway sandwich analogy and... And somehow just tie it into the game of StarCraft. Well done, John. I, I, I'd give it a good 6 out of 10. It's like it almost <laughs> happened, almost. Why, uh, I was wondering why Vibe was actually holding his drone back there. But no, he's decided to go into the natural. Just have a look. Yep. Just wanted to... Uh, I don't know, maybe waiting to give time for a command center or something like that to be down. Awesome. But uh, Drunken Boy is going for the same opening we just saw. Reaper into expand most likely uh, vibe gets the good scout and is gonna head back home with that drone it is of course hatch first for our zerg player getting his spawning pool down just in time behind it so that he'll be able to make those early lings and queens to deal with that fast reaper yeah, and the Reaper will be able to scout. It pretty much always does. There's nothing you can do to completely shut it down. You would have to be asleep in order to have that happen. And Drunken Boy is certainly not going to do that. It will get the scouting information, but it's not really going to see anything completely out of the ordinary. We've got gas coming down, spawning pool, and expansion. No crazy three hatch, nothing along those lines. Interestingly enough, though, a variant in Drunken Boy's build, there's a second Reaper following this up. Yeah, that is a little bit new. Perhaps he feels like had he had that second Reaper previously, he would have been able to do more damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Vi Vibe is actually skipping his lings here, going straight to Queens, so uh, it is a possibility that Drunken Boy may, may be onto something. Reapers this is are... a neat little trick, by the way. He weakened this drone so he could then assassinate it with the Reaper a little bit quicker. But, unfortunately, there's that little extractor trick you can use. So, I guess it doesn't matter that much. But he's forcing decent lost mining time here, and the Queen is not finished yet. And this yeah. Reaper's just having a lot of fun. Yeah, by having no uh, by having no lings out, this reaper was given a lot more time to do work. Finally, a couple of zerglings hatch, and that means that this reaper has to run away. But uh, he has definitely softened up a lot of drones, and now his buddies here, uh, two uh, two reapers better than one, good Certainly. chance to be able to do some damage. We'll see what he decides to work on here. There's only four lings out in the field. There's a queen on either side right now. Speeds is on its way. In the meantime, it's so far so standard, really, for Drunken Boy. We've got the factory and the reactor there, so we may see Widow Mines. We may see Hellions. We'll probably see Hellions. And the Drunken Boy is looking to just try and do a little bit more damage. He's managed to get the queen down to half health. He's going to regen and then just poke in again. Mm. And... It's nice because it punishes any Zerg player that just tries to drone. It forces the Zerg player to either get an extra queen or just get a couple more lings out to make sure that he doesn't end up losing a queen to Reapers. Yeah. Uh, Reapers will continue dancing around. They're going to pick off a couple more Zerglings, but for the most part, all they're going to manage is scouting from this point forward. Vibe's putting a couple more lings. He's getting Zergling speed. Now the drones come. Uh, so uh, nothing too crazy on the way, but uh, perhaps a little bit crazy on Drunken Boy's side of the map. We see a tech lab and a starport going down. Reaper play in, in Terran versus Zerg is not so common these days. No. No, it isn't. Uh, however, what we are probably going to end up seeing here is Hellion Banshee Reaper. Wow. In this case, he's going to go with a cloaking. I have seen this a few times. If you open up with multiple Reapers, and you're able to keep those Reapers alive, more often than not, you will see a Hellion follow-up. The nice thing about it is the Reapers are able to keep up. They can kind of sit behind the Hellions and pick off single targets. They just add a little bit more extra damage. They can also give vision up the high ground as well. So there are potential 
applications for this, and we're going to see whether or not it does damage, and it should, because actually the spine crawl is not done. It immediately pops, and now let's see what it can do with it. Yep, Lings with speed against Hellion Reaper. That's going to be a little bit tricky. Vibe forced to produce uh, more Zerglings right now. He did get a great scout of those starports, or the starports, so he knows exactly what he's up against. Uh, but for the time being, he has to contend with this, these uh, these Reapers and Hellions. This, uh, this uh, spore is probably going to have to get canceled. No, he's just going to let it die. Uh, a few more Lings have just hatched, so Vibe should be able to push this back. Doesn't want to lose the Queen. That would be a very painful loss. That would be absolutely awful, especially if a Banshee happened to come in that general direction, and it would certainly slow his production down pretty badly too. But as you said, Vibe did get the scout in the style pot, so he does have a Spore Crawler down. But, I mean, you've seen how effective this mix of Hellion and Reaper can actually be. It's just, there's so much firepower there, and it's more difficult to surround. In comes the Banshee as well. He's going to try and get this engagement, tries to get the surround, doesn't get the best surround ever. Is going to be able to kill a Reaper, and no Hellions. This was fantastic for Drunken Boy, yeah. and now the fun begins. Yeah, Vibe's actually in a lot of trouble. Forced to fight with drones. That's never what you want when you're uh, when you're up against Talions. Oh, look at the drone roast! As more and more workers are going to go down, Drunken Boy doing critical damage to Vibe. Zerglings hatching into fire. Uh, they will eventually clean this up, but man, the damage that has been dealt has been catastrophic. A grand total of 22 drone kills. Yeah, oh with, my. Uh, with more to come, as there's still a Banshee out. Yeah, this is phenomenal for Drunken Boy. That was as good as you could possibly hope. So we may very well be seeing this go to a third game, which is nice because that means I get to stay in your company a little bit more and then I will have to leave uh, leave you to Group D, I believe. Well, it's uh, it's been a true pleasure, John. And uh, if we see a Game 3, I'll be very happy for the uh, for the company. And if not, well, to hell with you. <laughs> That's that's a that's a fair. You know, I, I like I like that we got all our cards out on the table. You know, no unnecessary pleasantries. It's just like screw you. Casting was fun. Bye. Vive did uh, run across the map and see that Drunken Boy's got a third command center already, and that had to be at least a little bit disheartening. He's trying to recover by droning as hard as he can afford to. He's making drones five, six at a time, but he's still down ten workers, and uh, he does have three hatcheries. But man, is he in a tough spot? Yeah, this is. This is really awful for him, honestly. He's now building nothing but drones, of course, but the 70 Marines on the field has already now drop capability. Upgrades are rolling across the board. There's plus one air attack being researched by Vibe before he actually even has a single Mutalisk. And even when he starts building them, he's not going to have that many. Yep. Uh, just two Mutas on the way. He'll be adding in more if he can, but uh, he's... Oh, gosh. Banshee's going to find another opening at the third base. Uh, the Queen here is going to be able to poke at that Banshee a little bit, but of course with, uh, with not Cloak in play. Actually, no, he canceled Cloak. It doesn't matter one way or the other. I mean, a single Queen doesn't kill a single Banshee unless it happens to have support, and it certainly didn't. So the drones are kind of there providing a little bit of moral support, and that's not enough, I'm afraid. You can that's do not it. quite as Well, the Mutalists might be able to do it, and the Overseer is after him as well. So that Banshee is eventually going to go down. But he took out a Queen, so that again slows the production of Vibe, which is nightmarish and more importantly three bases two queens what does that mean that you're not going to be doing anytime soon creep oh, spread <laughs> not going to be spreading any creep and he's uh he's going to be low on energy in general drunken boy now with enough of an army that he feels like he can push out 30 marines two medevacs a couple of widow mines against just six mutas and five zerglings it's going to be very difficult for vibe to defend this if Drunken Boy doesn't attack right now, he's a very silly person. That's all I can say. You know, he doesn't even overstim there. He just stims oh. forward the little Vanguard pack. Oh, nice little shot there. Drunken Boy can just go and end the game right now, and he certainly should. Yeah, and I think he realizes that he's got a ton of control. He's moving out. He's controlling this Zelnaga Tower. He's going to make a few more units behind this. Doesn't want to give Vibe too much time, and maybe he is taking a little bit too much time, but uh, Vibe is... Trying to keep him honest, running around, attempting to counterattack. The problem here is that five mutas just are not as scary as 25 mutas. He's doing a fantastic job of cutting out reinforcements, though, I've got to say. And it results in Drunken Boy's army at the front being a hell of a lot smaller because there's a bunch of Marines that have to run around and try and deal with those mutas. But there's still enough here for Drunken Boy to just murder this natural. And I think yeah. he realizes it now. And he's now going to go for it, focusing fire down. The Lings are coming in. Slow Banelings are going to waddle to their deaths, Ugh. most likely. But I don't know. The mine hits might be dreadful. And they kind of were, yeah. but it didn't matter. GG. GG, Drunken Boy does it. He evens up the series at one each with, uh, quite frankly, he did it with Reapers and Hellions. Killed 22 drones with that early game harass, and that was not something Vibe was able to recover from.